Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with some machine gun because I've decided that today is the day where I'm ruining people's lives by playing machine gun and mana collector. So uh, this deck was adapted by Yu 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 uh, in last season and he was absolutely dominating everyone so I've decided well uh, my turn now it's my deck now and uh, we're gonna be testing if that's good. My opponent will be unfortunately having a an earthquake, which is like uh, uh, the best uh, response to a uh, to this deck ever. I'm gonna be playing a uh, long sword here. Actually, I'm gonna try to get the advantage of him not being uh, mentally prepared for that. I'm gonna play some rolling steel here, uh, absolutely decimating everything he ever owned. He has to play an earthquake, which is absolutely not not something he want to play as a. I, I thought he was playing a super ape, but now that I think about it, he may be playing, um, I don't know, maybe some digger? Since he's having big signature, maybe he's still playing a super ape, I, I don't know, probably he's playing super, oh, he's playing apes, that also makes sense. I'm gonna try to get away with this uh, cheeky defense, and I absolutely do, oh my god, I'm gonna play another mana collector. He doesn't have a way to pressure me, so it's pretty much a free trade. Uh, uh, also, if he uh, plays an earthquake of either of these pumps, he just wastes. He will just waste a counter to a machine gun, so he pretty much cannot do that. Uh, so I'm gonna just go for a machine gun and see what happens. I'm gonna play an ice tiny here. Uh, he pretty much right now knows that I'm gonna uh, try to fight at the bridge, and that's absolutely the. The place where you should be fighting. He uses an earthquake, and I think that's the uh, ceiling deal of this match. I'm gonna play another machine gun. This time he pretty much respects my uh, play, so he plays like a uh, bomb tower uh, very back down, and right now he just starts to uh, play uh, very solidly. Like so far, he didn't like lose uh, too much health, and right now I think uh, it is actually me that is in trouble if I don't start to stack my own troops. So I'm gonna just play gunner, I'm gonna play a uh, longsword, he's gonna try to get a lineup here, which uh, he will promptly fail, fortunately, I thought this lineup was working, I'm gonna get a uh, longsword here, he's getting a very good trade with this bomb tower though, uh, I'm gonna try to limit it uh, to a certain degree, I think it's the time of the game where I'm uh, never breaking through anymore, so I kinda have to just be on top of my uh, uh, trades. He's getting a beautiful piercing archer and I'm missing machine gun, so I think that's... I mean, that's certainly not a game over, but okay, he he kinda respects this machine gun too much. Uh, he definitely shouldn't, uh, because I missed it. But I'm gonna play another one. And, and I really hope that eventually I'm gonna break through, because... Uh, Oh my god, this seals the game. This officially seals the game. I didn't think I'm gonna get this hit, but I did, and yeah. I'm gonna just go GG. He knows he cannot come back to this. I'm gonna actually play some more plays. Uh, I'm gonna get back to my uh, gunner. I'm gonna play rolling steel. And basically, right now, I don't... I mean, he should be playing ape somewhere. Uh, he, he allows sword. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna just play some rolling steel to stop these apes, he doesn't have a lineup, uh, fortunately I'm gonna just prevent him from getting lineup ever by swimming at the bridge, and yeah, that was a very good matchup for my opponent, uh, but he didn't use it, and I actually got a very good advantage in single mana, which pretty much, <laughs> pretty much uh, allowed me to play way uh, less cautiously, like, uh, I think 9 times out of 10 he's gonna win this matchup, but that was the one that we take and oh boy was it big because against 1200 very uh, very cool to see let's jump to the next game all right so next game will be against a super smoker who uh, is uh, 350 medals player and uh, we'll start off with some psycho cards some skeletons some devils pretty much can be anything at this point um uh, Rolling steel, so probably a cycle deck. Usually, like beat down decks, run uh, things like uh, I don't know bullets or blitz, like more dynamic spells. Uh, rolling steel is usually for the decks that love to like fight at the bridge, and that's definitely the uh, 
Like, Machine Gun definitely is the deck that uh, fights at the bridge and doesn't, like, uh, play any fun games. I'm gonna have to play Machine Gun here because, unfortunately, I don't uh, have uh, any better building to deal with this balloon. I'm gonna play some Ice Tiny to stop it and to hope that... Okay, it's not gonna get even a death damage, so it was cool, but I still had to use an entire Machine Gun. And if I didn't have to... Uh, I think I would have gotten away with a huge machine gun lock. So yeah, that was uh, that was pretty sad to see, but it had to be done. I have to be way more careful about this matchup, and I think actually playing machine guns uh, will be very cool uh, against this guy. I'm gonna play just some uh, skeletons. I'm gonna play some uh, gunner. I hope he's not gonna like all in me with Dark Knight and Balloon on the opposite lane uh, once again. Uh, I'm gonna play Rolling to just delete this uh, uh, bomb girl. I'm gonna play some uh, tinies. I'm gonna play long. Oh wait, I, I already had a mana collector. Oh, whatever. I wanted to play mana collector, but I've played a long sword as well. Oh well. His Dark Knight will get absolutely infinite value against it. Maybe my longsword will get a counter, but uh, it's very, uh, very not likely. I'm gonna play a, a fire tiny on this. I'm gonna get a counter against this. I'm gonna play another mana collector, and I think right now I'm just sad because I have two pumps uh, and double mana, so he will be able to like uh, respond more. But at the same time, it's a, already a very good position. I'm gonna play skeletons against it. I'm gonna just cycle to another pump. And with that uh, things, I think with three pumps we can already start going in. So I'm gonna play first the uh, machine gun of the game. Uh, the previous one was like this defensive one, so it doesn't really count. I'm gonna okay. He, okay, so he's gonna actually get a balloon here. Uh, I'm gonna actually allow it to. Okay, I was about to say I'm gonna actually allow it to go for the tower because if I if I did, uh, my machine gun would have uh, more health to connect, and actually my machine gun on the right did a fantastic job, I'm gonna play the uh, machine gun uh, on the right side once again, I'm gonna block it for my life, uh, because uh, I kinda have to do it to win, and that's gonna be locked. And my opponent resigns, because that's how machine gun works, you're just absolutely gotten rid of your soul until your, uh, your cards kinda misplay something and uh, you die, so yeah, that's gonna be... The game number two, a very smooth sailing, I would say. I expected him to be way more aggressive with balloons, and if he was uh, uh, more aggressive, I think I would be in a lot of trouble. So yeah, game number two completed. Let's jump to game number three. And the third game of this video will be against Cornelius, which is a zero player. I mean, a zero male player. It's not like he's worth nothing, but... Uh, his profile so far looks very fresh because he is zero males, uh, which means either he has a very tough time, like a very very tough time on Boom Arena ladder, or his account is new and he's looking for the first dub. He's playing Shield Skeleton's first play, which is a very fair move. I'm gonna be playing a Mana Collector for that. Uh, I mean, not for that, but I just got very lucky rolling still against this. Uh, I Basically, the main premise of this deck. Uh, oh my! Holy! I need this extra mana. Oh, I need this extra mana so much. Also, he spent a lot of mana going for this ape, so I'm pretty confident that uh, whatever he will have to spend something to clean this up. There we go. And right now, he has absolutely nothing for these uh, pumps. Yeah. Of course, I forgot to. Uh, Include the fact that he may have not have uh, the perfect mana mount to counter this and almost lose a tower in the counter push, which is not even a dedicated counter push. I'm gonna play long sword here. I'm gonna clean it up very nicely, and right now I would be in love with uh, the machine gun uh, on the right side because he absolutely has nothing to stop it. Uh, Fall Heart will uh, tank for a bit, but uh, that's gonna be about that. Uh, skeletons will not even. I mean, m maybe there were hits. I didn't see anyone. Tissue uh, Skeletons will try to do something against this machine gun, and they did actually. So, 
some kudos to them. I'm gonna play another uh, mana collector. It looks like Cornelius has a very difficult uh, job of getting on top of my pumps and that's probably the reason why he uh, loses the game so hard. I'm gonna just uh, counter his another all in with uh, only apes because that's how you pretty much summarize. I'm gonna play machine gun here. He's not gonna even block this gunner, I presume, because he's just scared for his life that the machine gun will take his second tower and uh, both cases will be true. Okay, this... Okay, I actually got uh, retargeted with my machine gun, but I'm gonna play another one. Have you seen that one before? Machine gun being protected by my machine gun and I'm gonna just spam to win because I still have a pump down so it was like a huge mana advantage from the single converted to a lethal attack in double. That's pretty much the whole game plan of the machine gun pump. You basically try to play on this uh, plan that kinda goes for a uh, 3 minutes and 4 if necessary but usually if you go to a 4th minute you're, uh, uh, you're struggling. Like. The best time you, you can hit is like playing absolutely nothing in single, only pumps, and then you start spamming machine guns in double and just win for free. So yeah, let's jump to the game number four. Maybe there uh, the explanation will be way more clear. And the next game will be against another zero metal player who is YRZXW? I, I don't know. I don't know how to actually pronounce it. I just... Uh, iterated every single character in his name. I think it counts. I'm gonna just play Mana Collector because, like I've said in the uh, previous video, it's pretty much the entire game plan of this deck. And if you can implement it correctly, you're gonna be absolutely a grandmaster in this deck. I'm gonna play uh, some of these, some of those, and I hope I'm gonna be fine. I didn't want to play a longsword, but I had to play something and I didn't see a gunner, which would be obviously a better play. Oh well. I'm gonna actually let this uh, Bone Blaster connect, because like I said, uh, the main uh, plan of this uh, deck is to just cycle to the pumps and I had a pump uh, available on my um, on my slot, so I, so I cycle it. I'm gonna play Fire Tiny here to counter his... Uh, to counter his uh, cheeky phone keg, I'm gonna play some Ice Tiny to uh, mitigate the damage from the Skeleton Keg, and I'm gonna play another Mana Collector, and basically at this point we already can start uh, cycling our machine guns, but I think I'm gonna just wait for him to overcome it first, and uh, yeah, uh, he right now played a spell on offense, that's the like golden sign that uh, you can start attacking, he played for mana to try to counter this machine gun, so I'm gonna just right now uh, overprotect it like with a long sword. Uh, this long sword actually will connect to a tower which is very big, very big because this is tower down. I'm gonna be another mana collector, so my timing lasts uh, for a little bit longer in the double mana time. I'm gonna get a clearance on this uh, one. I actually forgot about these shield skeletons being a factor in this game, which is pretty embarrassing to admit. Uh, I would love to get a prediction against these bond masters, but I didn't. Well, that sometimes happens. I'm gonna just go for the side pressure, so my machine gun can uh, casually take down the tower, while the longsword will take care of the viking tower, because my opponent just resigned. And uh, yeah, like I've said, that's pretty much what happens. People are absolutely mad that the that you do absolutely nothing in single, you do not uh, apply pressure to them, you just cycle the pumps, cycle the pumps, and if your pawn doesn't have like a good response to a mana collector, yeah, th that's gonna be a huge struggle. So yeah, I'm gonna just take another win and jump to the last game of the video. And the last game of the video will be against Shamal, so in this video actually we didn't face any decent players, that's a shame because I usually want to like present at least how this deck fares against better players uh, for the reason that uh, yeah uh, I run a lot of cheese decks so you might just well uh, catch uh, which of them like are very solid which of them uh, are not this uh, this set of skeletons were actually not good and oh my god he's actually punishing me for my mistakes I'm gonna play uh, Fire Tiny here, I'm gonna play Longsword here, unfortunately I was forced to play Longsword, I really didn't want to, but uh, since he played that Bomber, I think that was just inevitable, and 
he gets a very good chunk of damage for me playing a mana collector uh, in the back, so that's one way to deal with a machine gun. If you can, basically, if you can, uh, like, create a timing attack against a machine gun player, and uh, then you can uh, just uh, hold the phone and uh, somehow, some way, survive the timing in double mana, you will absolutely wreck this matchup, but if you can't, well... Uh, that was the entire purpose then, and uh, Machine Gun player will obviously win. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the matchup that works in this way. If you're good enough, you will uh, almost always win, but like mo most people are getting cheesed by this, and even very good ones. So uh, I wouldn't say this uh, deck is very easy to hold. I'm gonna actually cycle two more cards. I would love to get a clean defense, but I think that won't be the case. I'm gonna take two bomber shots. That's very fine. Uh, right now I'm having like three pumps on the board and I think that's uh, absolutely enough to uh, win the game. I'm gonna play Machine Gun and he plays Cemetery at the exact same moment, so I think yeah, this game may be over right here. I'm gonna play a Rolling Steel just to make sure that this skill port won't get anywhere. I'm gonna play another Machine Gun. If he plays Dark Knight on this, yeah. Three pumps was just too much, I don't think he could uh, even like uh, theoretically handle it, let alone in a practice where I've actually tried to protect my machine guns. Uh, I was uh, trying to get three machine guns at the same time, but yeah, I think two is enough and that's gonna be the conclusion of this video. Very strong timing to end this one and that just goes to show you that this deck even though it looks cheesy, it's uh, very solid if you can play it correctly and not many players actually can respond to that, so it's actually a very good deck to push on ladders. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you aren't already, because I'm gonna be uploading more Boom Arena content in the future, so if you have some suggestions of what you want to see, definitely leave it in the comments down below. So far I'm just posting uh, like uh, various decks and I'm trying to like explain how to play with them and showing the gameplay at the same time. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Once again, if you have any ideas, once again, leave uh, the ideas in the comments down below. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Moarina.